Option in the health care debate. You know, I actually kind of think the public option is a distraction. That, that phrase is a distraction. Because I don't really care what we call it. What we know we have to have is greater access, more affordability, and security in health care. Now, I'll tell you, I'm a breast cancer survivor myself. I spent 44 years of my life, I never really had to access the health care system. I kind of went to checkups and I'd break my hand or, you know, whatever and have to go in, but nothing major. And then I got diagnosed. Uh, and, and so all of a sudden got to see up close and personal kind of how weird our health care system really is. And I, when I'd go in, I decided I was going to try to learn something. So when I'd go in, I would uh, always ask the price of every pill, every shot, every bag of chemo, every procedure. And guess what they told me? They didn't know. No one knew. So I'd come back the next week and they knew I was going to ask the same question. And so they'd really make an effort to try to figure out what the price of these things were. And it all depended. It depended on what kind of insurance you had, whether you had it, you didn't have it. There were all of these crazy issues that no one can figure out how, as a consumer of health care, I can't make a purchasing decision based on quality and price. So we know we have a messed up system when there's nobody there creating any competition to bring prices down. So for me, one of the fundamental pieces of that is about affordability and access for folks who have pre-existing conditions or if they get sick, not kicking them off their health care, which is what's going on right now. The insurance companies are making out like bandits right now. And we need to hold their feet to the fire on this and try to get this done. Uh, and I don't care what you call it. We need to do those things.